Hi everyone, uh, this is going to be a bit of a different video because I've not done one of these before but I'm just going to introduce the uh, wood gasifier that I've been making um, which uh, is going to be burning uh, wood chips to produce um, my um, wood gas uh, which is coming out of the flare there and my intention really is to run a generator that will charge a whole load of um, batteries uh, that will you can go through an inverter and charge uh, or be used in the house. So um, I've built this wood gasifier which is uh, old technology and um, I've used some of the designs uh, which I found on the internet including um, a, a, such a useful resource by um, Flash uh, 001 USA. Um, thank you Flash, you're absolutely amazing. Um, I can't say that I've done everything that you've done and it's a bit of work in progress to be honest but uh, the whole idea is to produce um, a, a usable burnable gas um, that uh, I can put through a petrol generator. So uh, that's what I've done. So uh, principally, um, all it is is a, a, a propane tank um, with the uh, cut top off. Um, I put a, a lid on it. Um, then that really acts as my uh, wood hopper. Then I put it all into a um, 200 liter or, or 50 gallon um, oil drum. Uh, put a door on uh, the bottom there so I can uh, clean out uh, any uh, ash and um, charcoal at the end of the day. Uh, it then goes through um, a cyclone filter, which is another uh, gas uh, cylinder. Uh, this is a cyclone filter, so it comes in through the side here, uh, goes round in a circle, um, condenses um, any sort of water and tars, or starts to condense them on the side, and they drip down into the, um, the catchment bowl at the bottom there. And then this pipe here, which takes the uh, gases out, starts near the bottom, comes out through the top into um, a fairly crude looking uh, radiator there uh, which cools the, the gas down, um, condenses the gas and then at the moment I've not got it going through uh, my filter system there, it's just coming through the radiator. Uh, it goes through a, a bilge pump um, which acts as my suction pump and then it comes through my, uh, my flare here. Now um, I've only just lit it got plenty of heat coming off it. It's a burnable flame. It's orange, uh, which means that uh, I'm burning um, hydrogen, carbon monoxide, uh, but it's orange because there's uh, soot in there and all sorts of stuff you don't really want going into uh, an engine. So um, hence the reason why I've got the filters uh, all ready to um, filter the the gas so in theory I should get a nice clean blue flame. Okay I've just turned it over so that the gas is now going through the filters and uh, you can see how clean this flame is. Now I know it's not uh, night time so um, uh, you know you'll probably get a better indication of colour of the flame if it was dark but it's not exactly bright sunshine either here um, and you can see that uh, you can barely see the flame which I'm taking it as a good sign but it's not that nice blue it's if you've got it a I don't know if you can see it, uh, it's got a slight orange tinge to it, um, but it is a pretty clean looking flame. So I'm, I'm quite pleased with that so far, but I'm sure I can get it better. I'm going to post um, quite a few of these videos on this uh, gasifier because my aim is eventually to run a generator that will charge up a, a battery bank which I can use for uh, normal electricity in the house and around the uh, small holdings. So um, given that we're living in a time of increased uh, energy costs and things like that and uh, there's um, going to be a, a squeeze on how much um, it's going to cost to you know, heat a home and to power a home, then I thought uh, I'll go back to the old school of uh, doing things and uh, make a, a wood gasifier. Because uh, let's face it, I've got loads of chippings which I can uh, use for fuel. Uh, that's what I've got there drying in the sunshine. In fact, it's, it's now probably about uh, eight o'clock in the evening, so the sun's gone down a little bit. But uh, anyway, they're on my uh, drying mats because I'm using dry, uh, going to use dry chippings to, uh, to fuel my gasifier. And uh, anyway, stay tuned. Uh, this is the first video. I'm going to go through how I've uh, built this one, and hopefully you'll see if it's uh, going to be a successful uh, project or, or not. So anyway, the quick video this time, but until the next video, bye for now. We've been running this for about 20 minutes now and uh, the flame is getting um, clearer and clearer. Uh, it's meant to be blue ideally but um, it's not far off and it's, uh, it's pretty clean. You can barely see the colour of the flame here. If I put it against something a little bit darker, there we go. Um, so it's getting bluer 
blue's harder to see in daylight. Um, but it's it's really really nice and hot. And the flame is actually getting up to about uh, up to about there-ish, about there. Um, so it is producing quite a lot of gas. Uh, anyway, good sign so far. <laughs>